Hello and welcome to Glenn Small Engine in Greenville, Texas. Home of the free repair videos for outdoor power equipment. In this video I'm going to show you how to adjust the valves on this Briggs overhead valve engine. Briggs makes several of these engines, single cylinder overhead valve engines, and after about a year or so, the valves get out of adjustment and they're real hard to turn over. The engine spins over and it locks up on the compression stroke. This engine has a mechanical compression release built onto the camshaft and as the valves get out of adjustment, it, it no longer works correctly. I'll go ahead and take the valve cover off here. Okay, I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, here's our rocker arms that need to be adjusted. Here's our adjustment nuts. There's a torque screw, lock screw right in the middle, right here. We're going to loosen this torque screw and then adjust this nut right here. So if we want to adjust our top one, what we're going to do is roll the engine over until our bottom one is open. We're going to roll the engine over until this bottom rock arm pushes the valve all the way down. Okay, at that point, we're ready to adjust our exhaust rock arm right here. Speeder gauge, a 4,000 speeder gauge. We're going to slide it in right there. You can see how loose it is. What we're going to do is hold this, hold that nut right there. While we're holding this, we're going to back that lock screw out a couple of turns. We're going to set our feeder gauge in there like that. We're going to slowly tighten this up until it starts to get tight right there. It's starting to get pretty tight. So we're going to stop and go ahead and, while holding on this, go ahead and snug that set screw back down. There it is, right there. That's what you want. Once the exhaust rocker arm, or the, or the top one, has got the exhaust valve all the way open, now we're ready to adjust this one. So you can see it's very, very loose right there. Same thing. Hold this in place. And back out a couple turns on that set screw. Alright, we're going to rough turn this in until it starts to get tight right there. Right when it starts to get tight, go ahead and hold it with a wrench in place and tighten that torque screw down. Okay, that's right where we want it, right there. That's all there is to it, right there. That's a lot easier for the engine to spin over. I recommend adjusting those valves every year. That extra load can shorten the life of the battery and solenoid and up starter and other electrical parts. Well, thanks for watching. For more free videos, visit my website at smallinch.com. To ensure that these videos stay up and free for everyone. All small donations are appreciated. If you have any suggestions, email me. I'm working on new videos all the time. If there's something you'd like to see, let me know and I'll try to get one up. Thank you.